When I was five years old growing up in Manchester, New Hampshire, my life changed as I knew it when this thing called the bookmobile came to our neighborhood. It would park right on the top of the hill every other Wednesday, and I had this great anticipation and excitement for it. Looking back, it was an important time in my life because it was the first introduction you know, to like reading that I had and books. I just remember running out of my house, running up the hill, uh, and going right into the bookmobile, and it would smell musty, you know, and the, and the woman, the librarian that worked there, she wore a lot of perfume, and I'm asthmatic, so it would be like coughing. The first three books I, I took out were a Corduroy, um, a, a book called Curious George, and uh, with, uh, with Grover, it was, uh, there's a monster at the end of the book. Once I got the books, I ran back down, and I got right into our house, and I just, the kitchen table, and I just started reading. When I was seven, for some reason, the, 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 the Manchester discontinued the bookmobile. Um, I don't know how like this exactly unfolded, uh, but my parents, they sat me down in the living room and they told me that the, the bookmobile wasn't coming back. Uh, I had, you know, I was seven years old. I had a hard time accepting this. And every other Wednesday, I would still go up the hill and I just sit there on the curb waiting, hoping and waiting. Uh, for the bookmobile to return. Um, I'm sad to say it never came. And uh, yeah, never came, never came back. The next few years I continued reading, but I never forgot the bookmobile and the joy it gave me. And I often wondered, like, where did it go? One late August uh, night, I was when I was 10, uh, my mother was driving me to the, the Little League banquet we were having at Memorial High School. And we were like a block away. We, we had the windows down. And in the air, you could smell it. It was this, this distinct, incredible smell in the air. And I was trying to figure out what it was. And that's right when we pulled into the parking lot. And I was both shocked and fascinated with what I saw in front of me. The bookmobile. My, my bookmobile uh, was right there in front of me. Uh, but it was no longer the bookmobile, okay? It was now the Pappy's Pizza Pizza Mobile. Uh, it was like a traveling pizza kitchen thing. Uh, and they were catering our, our, our sports banquet. Now, like, if you don't know me, I got to tell you, like, I love books, okay? And, and I love pizza just as much as I love books, all right? And Pappy's to me, uh, and my family at that time, they had the best pizza in town, without a doubt. And that night at, at the banquet, I, I got to be honest with you, I, I, I didn't get any trophies. I, I got two ribbons, if that counts. Uh, but I had four slices of pepperoni pappy's pizza, and that comforted me to a degree. Now, the pappy's pizza mobile was omnipresent like the next eight years of my life. Uh, we had concerts on the Merrimack River. Uh, when the, whenever they had their 4th of July fireworks, whenever they had it, 4th of July. And uh, of course, the annual River Fest the week after Labor Day. It was always there. And most importantly, the Pappy's Pizza Mobile was always at our sports banquets. The Pappas family that ran Pappy's Pizza uh, and the Pizza Mobile, they really cared about the youth in our community. And they sponsored a lot of teams, uh, I know that, uh, in the many different sports youth leagues uh, around, the, around the city. Now, I, I feel extremely fortunate to have grown up um, in Manchester, New Hampshire, in a time when we had both uh, the Bookmobile and then later uh, the Pappy's Pizza Mobile. And I cherish those memories of both.